Hi. I gotta stop and scratch my head real quick. Believe it or not, people still don't get this. Even in today's world, with all this information, Google, Bing, that, this and that, unbelievable, man. People still go to the store, go pick up a brand new radio like this one right here, read the box, and believe what it says to them. It's almost like watching the news, really, if you think about it. it what's news? It's entertainment. It ain't the truth. Just like this box. It ain't the truth. And I want to show you that. Watch. Let me see. I don't want to be bothered to read this. It's almost embarrassing to the people that make this crap. Man. And I saw it, man. Let it go. I see the small print of what they're trying to hide. Hold on. Hang on. I had it. Look at that. Anyway, I can't find it. This here is some radio now that just came out. It's a Pioneer CD receiver. You know, middle of the road. Kind of like the same crap they've been making for however many years now. Now, it looks nice. It's got lots of pretty lights and everything. It's, you know, who, who wouldn't want that, you know? Just for the light show, it's worth a hundred bucks, probably, you know? Well, anyway, it, it does have some good features. I'm not all about bashing manufacturers, although I do like JVC a whole lot better than this one. Um, here's my point, before I get all carried away. These radios, they used to really have a big uh, marker right on this, 50 watts by 4. 200 watts. Wow, that's awesome, man. I'll buy this radio for a hundred bucks, man. I'm gonna get a hundred watts, man. My stock radio's only got like 10 or 12, man. If I really crank it hard, my speakers start to like bust out the door, you know? So this here, they tell you you're getting yourself 50 watts a channel by four. Now, let me stop. Let me just take a second and compose myself. What I did is, I don't know if you people ever heard of it. Again, there's lots of information. But people just choose not to, well, they hear what they want to hear, really. Because people is kind of like electricity, if you think about it. They're, they seem to follow the path of least resistance. Um, I used to be guilty of the same, so I can't say I'm any better, but I am wiser. So I'm going to try to share some of my information. What I've made here is I just hand wrote this little pie chart. And what this means in electrical theory is you got V for volts, A for amps, W right here for watts. You take these three components and with knowing these three variables you can figure out the wattage of just about anything whether it be a light bulb or a car stereo or anything no matter what it is okay. Now you take this this pretty radio we got here right this Pioneer okay Oh, by the way, I wanted to show you. Just so you think I'm crazy, I'm just making a rant. Read that tiny print. Can you see that? It says power output 14W for watts RMS by four channels, four ohms, and a kajillion percent. Distortion, signal to noise ratio, 91 decibels. Wow. Okay, so again, let's just make pretend that this actually was 50 watts, which of course we know it ain't. How much do these lights draw? How much does a CD player draw? How much is the heat? Kind of like when you put on a light in your house. If you turn it on and you have a dimmer, it's a 100 watt bulb, you put it on halfway, that's when you feel that dimmer starting to get a little warm. The higher you put it, the warmer it gets. The more brighter the bulb gets and the more wattage output you get. Half of that, I'd say, realistically, is out the window. Whatever's left, you divide by four, add distortion, and what you got left, maybe, I'd say in this box, is about six to seven watts of clean power. It's still dirty, un distorted power. Because if you ever looked inside this radio, there's actually a little piece that keeps, keeps the uh, amplifier from blowing up. And the amplifier is about the same... That nail that I got that needs to be trimmed a little. That's the amplifier. Now watch this. This here is a big clarion amplifier. This one here 
as big as this thing is, just without the radio, CD player, the light show, and everything else, this big monster will make 50 watts per channel, okay? And that's not even advisable. You probably want to cut that down. So realistically, maybe you get about 35 to 40 watts of clean power out of a real amplifier. This is not an amplifier, people. This is a head unit, it's a receiver, it's what you use to control a signal to a real amplifier. So when you get this, you don't have an amplifier. Don't read the box, don't say I got this and I got that because the box says it. Duh, no, it's not. It's, this is not an amplifier. If you ever really want to know what an amplifier is, say that Clarion amplifier, here's how you do it. And I'm going to write it down on my little pie chart to show you. Okay, go back to this. Now you say, what, how can I use this pie chart to figure out anything? I don't know what any of this stuff is. Well, I'll tell you what it is. Right here, the V, your car runs on 12 volts, right? So we know we got 12 volts. Now, we don't know what the other two are. But I'll bet you that if you took that amplifier out of the box and looked on the side, there's going to be a fuse in there, a little fuse. Okay? Let's just say there's a 30 amp fuse. Now you got two. You got two pieces of the puzzle. That With these two pieces of the puzzle, you could always figure out the third. Now, allow me to elaborate. I'm going to get my calculator. I'm going to hit 12 volts times 30 amps equals. What do you got? 360. Again, liar. Is this thing... Really? What it says it is? Or are you just telling me something that sounds good? Okay. Use this, people. When you're buying electronics, don't be a fool. Don't waste your money. I've seen people come into my old store. I swear they used to have amplifiers. They were as big as my might be like three and a half, four feet length. And when something would blow up, we would take the screws out. We would look inside. It was nothing in there. Literally, when I was feeling strong that day, I might be able to take it over my knee and crack the damn thing and put in two pieces because there was nothing in it. All right? Just because you bought an amplifier and it says it's got 2,000 watts, believe me, people, unless you spent money on some Memphis Mojo, you ain't got no real amplifier. Believe me. Most of this junk that they're making these days is terrible, cheap, Chinese, chickity ting tang ting tang crap. So be careful when you're buying things. Just like in this here, this radio... And I'm going to prove my theory to you on this radio here, because I know a lot of you people are going to get offended and get all butthurt because I'm saying what I'm going to say to you people, but I'm going to wake you up to a true reality. That radio, I know for a fact, has a 10 amp fuse in the back of it. Okay? Now, I don't need to be a math whiz to figure out that that's 120. When you multiply 12 volts times 10 amps, that's 120. 120. divided by four channels sorry 120 divided by four according to me mathematically this radio minus the mechanics and everything else that's in here and the light, big light show and this and that heat whatnot cheap wiring whatever else you do wrong to your installation this radio is probably going to give you about seven watts on a good day 7 watts. So you've got a badass radio, man. You've got 7 watts, man. 7 watts. you badass. So do me a favor, man. Instead of wasting your money buying this stuff that looks good, make an educated guess. Do the right thing. Get out a calculator. Use your brain. And buy things with your head instead of with your eyes. Because what you see and what you get is two different things. So, enough said.